Hey, good morning. Welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're at Luke 11, 33 to 36. Let's read it. No one after lighting a lamp puts it in a cellar or under a basket, but on a stand so that those who enter may see the light. Your eye is the lamp of your body. When your eye is healthy, your whole body is full of light. But when it is bad, your body is full of darkness. Therefore, be careful lest the light in you be darkness. If then your whole body is full of light, having no part dark, it will be wholly bright as when a lamp with its rays gives you light. Here we come back to this, you know, this uh, diversity is our strength stuff we keep hearing today. Well, what's interesting is when we come to the Bible, what do we find in the Bible? We find a lot of this, you know, it's A or B, you know, it's light or darkness. And we think, well, that's that's mostly just John over there. He, he's very A or B. Well, Jesus is very much this way either, right? You have the Word of God and you're keeping it or you don't. And, and here we have it again, light or darkness. And here's what we have. The Why is there a light? No one after lighting a lamp puts it in a cellar or under a basket, but it's so the people can see the light. God didn't come to us just because he was, he was bored. God wants us to let the light shine. And so our business is to be invaded by God's light and then to send that light back out into the world. And then we have this part about the light that's in us. If it's darkness, how great the darkness. But if it's light, friends, how great the light. So here's the world around us, recreating the world in its own image, redefining what is male, what is female, redefining what is reality, redefining, you know, pretty much everything. Uh, we're going we're gonna to control all the words so that if, if people don't say the words we want, we're going to throw them off the internet and all that kind of thing. It's because they have a social construction of reality and they want to control what reality is. And God would tell us that his word is telling us what reality is. We as Christians need to be defined not by the words of some group of intellectuals sitting around a campfire or elites making decisions for us about what reality is. Our world is defined by the world as God made it, and the Bible gives us a revelation and insight of exactly what this world is. And so it tells us, it, like an x-ray, our own heart, how dark our own heart is and how much our heart needs to be transformed so that we become kind and gentle, and transformed like Jesus would have us be. So friends, let our reality be shaped by the maker of our reality, and that is the God of heaven and earth. Let us pray. Dear Father in heaven, there is a lot of darkness that's been in all of us. We pray, Lord, that instead your, we will let that go, that, that through your strength we'll let it go, and your light will be a part of us, and we will send your light back into the world. So help us, Lord, we want to be kind. We're not looking for trouble, but we also need to be definite and help the world to see the difference between light and darkness, because if we're not shining the light, then darkness would appear to prevail. Lord, may we shine the light. Give us boldness and courage to shine it, no matter what people would do to us, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. And there's a thought for this hour, for this day. May his blessing be with you all through this day.